Hello everyone. Today let's learn how to convert the cumulative frequencies of less than or more than type into normal frequencies. So in this example, we have the heights which are in the less than type and number of students which is given as cumulative frequencies. We have to find the normal class intervals and the normal frequencies. So let's see how to do it. Now here in the first row, it is given less than 120. There are six students. That means the maximum height of these six students will be within 120. So can we say that the upper class limit will be 120? Yes. So for this class interval, the upper limit will be 120. Similarly, see here friends, less than 130. So definitely it will be 130 here, the upper limit. And that way I can fill in all the rows. Okay. So these are all the upper class limits. But what about the lower class limits? Now for that, just observe the gap between these two numbers, friends. See, 150 to 160, the gap is 10. That means after 10, the next row is starting. So what is this 10? Yes, it is the class size. So we have got the class size. We know the upper limit. Can we find the lower limit? Yes, we just need to subtract. So 120 minus 10, 110. See 130 minus 10, 120. So we can easily get all the lower class limits. So let's quickly find them out. Okay. So we've got all the class intervals. Now let's find the normal frequencies. Now it is given that six students have height less than 120. Now does this six include any other frequency? No, it's only the frequency of less than 120 centimeters. So automatically I can write this CF value as the frequency. Now let's come to the next one. Here there are nine students who have height less than 130. Now does this include the six students who have height less than 120? Yes, because if the height is less than 120, automatically it will be also less than 130, right? But we want only 120 to 130 centimeter students. So what should we do? Yes, you just have to subtract 9 minus 6 and you will get 3. So the present CF minus the previous CF gives you the present frequency. Just need to apply this logic. So here we'll get 11 minus 9 which is 2. Okay, this way 15 minus 11, 4. 20 minus 15, 5. And this way we'll get all the frequencies friends. Now to verify if all the frequency values are correct, you can just add them up and you should get this cumulative frequency value at the bottom. So if you add them up, you will see that we'll get 23. That means our calculations are on the right track. Now in this example, we have cumulative frequencies of more than type. So friends, let's again see more than equal to zero. That means all these students have got marks more than or equal to zero. So can I say the lower class limit for this row has to be zero? Yes. So here it is zero to some other limit. Here also see it's more than or equal to 15. So 15. This will be 30. So we can easily get all the lower class limits. See, 60, 75 and 90. Now, what about the upper class limits? Again, observe these numbers. What is the gap between them? Yes, let's just take any two rows. 60 minus 45, the gap is 15. That is going to be your class size. So how will you find the upper limit? Just need to add the class size to the lower limit. So we'll get 15 over here. 30, 45, here we'll get 60, 75, 90 and this will be 105. Now let's also find the frequencies. Now here there is no point starting from the first row because all the students are included in the first row itself. So let's start from the bottom row and work our way upwards. So more than or equal to 90 marks three students have got. Now does this CF value include frequency from any other row? Definitely not. So we can automatically say that this CF value becomes the frequency value also. Now let's see the next one more than or equal to 75. There are eight students. So definitely this includes all the three students whose marks are more than or equal to 90. But we want only from 75 to 90. So what should we do? Yes, we just have to subtract 8 and 3. So 8 minus 3, which is 5, we'll get the frequency, friends. So what is the rule over here? 
present CF minus the next CF gives you the present frequency value. So just apply that logic here. 19 minus 8 which is 11. 24 minus 19 which is 5. Here we'll get 33 minus 24, 9. Here we'll get 4 and here I'll get 2. So this way we have got all the frequencies. Again you can verify if your calculations are correct by adding up all the frequencies. So in this case also you're getting the frequency values as 39. So friends I hope you understood how to do this conversion now. If you found the video useful please do like and share the video. Consider subscribing to enjoy math and please do leave your comments in the comment section below. So till we meet again take care.